have been a few long dry spells so far this winter and currently mountain snowpack is a little on the low side. It's about 18% below average according to a network of automated weather instruments called Snowtel stations. But those stations only measure the snowpack between 8,500 and 11,500 feet. So most of the snow that we see above tree line is not even counted. Half or more than half of our seasonal snowpack can be at those higher elevations. Taylor Winchell with Denver Water says if we were able to measure that high elevation snow, it might not change the percentages too much because it would also raise the average. At least in the current climate where snowpack is somewhat proportional with elevation. But in a future climate, it could make a big difference. Yeah, there are many factors that influence how snow falls and where snow falls. And one of those factors is temperature. Scientific studies show that because of climate change, snowpack could decrease at the lower elevations where our automated instruments are currently located. While snowpack at the higher elevations might be less impacted or even increase, that's where the Airborne Snow Observatory comes in. Instruments on a plane can scan above, below, and in between ground-based stations, producing high-resolution images like this shot of Breckenridge Resort in April. Look how it pinpoints the higher water content in the densely packed ski runs. However, due to its high expense, these flights can only operate in Colorado a few times each spring, at least for now. Yeah, we hope to see these airborne um, snow observatory surveys really expand into the future and help fill in those spatial gaps uh, between snowtel stations. We really see these two networks working in tandem. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.